Hi and hello to this new video today. Today I want to show you how to draw a white paw of a tabby cat. This is an insight into one of my drawing lessons in Animal Art Club, my drawing school where I teach my students how to draw realistic animal portraits with pastels. Enjoy watching! Okay, let's work now here on this lower part of the legs of our cat. Bring in a bit black maybe also so into the paw. Okay, and then also uh, apply white on the whole paw here as a base layer, 101 white. So I plot that in, in so circles. I try to figure out where these parts of the paws are. So because here the third direction is going to the left and then downwards and here above it's going here so upwards a bit and then here downwards along these paw parts and here also downwards. So plot in here um, a, enough white pigment I would say. Don't oversaturate the paper but it can be really pretty and white as done also in the face we will darken it down a bit a little bit with blending and then add again the white over it so take the paper stamp then and then I start blending here on the black parts and blend the black a bit upwards into the white paw and darken down this lower part of the paw here. Make it gray when you pick up a bit of the black pigment here. You can mix the white and the black and you get gray. And then blend over the white. You have a bit of the black pigment on your paper stamp and you also remove a bit of the white pigment and then automatically your paw darkens down a bit or you pick up here a bit black and plot it a little bit in or mix it in from the surrounding area here. So this is totally fine that we Bring in here a bit gray and darken down, for example, this middle part here a bit with uh, the gray and also here this part and the edges here of that toe. Plot in a bit of the black and then also blend the black around here with the paper stamp. I pause this video quickly and I want to invite you to join my free Animal Art Week. It's a five days drawing experience where you can learn how to draw a sweet squirrel, a realistic dog eye and a beautiful butterfly with pastels. You can join in the link below in the description. So. Okay, and then let's go in a bit with the gray, with the middle gray, take 233, the cold gray four, and draw some cold gray lines, so upwards here. Start here where the blanket is, we will draw the blanket then finally, and bring in some gray strokes upwards. Also here, draw some middle gray lines, so upwards, they can cross, go here a bit together in the middle. Also add here on the right paw, toe some gray lines and also darken down this lower part here once more, plot in a bit more of the gray. And here we have such a darker part in the paw. Let's also bring in here a bit of gray. So, and also draw a bit of the fur direction here above so that the hairs are going to the right here in the bow. 
and then blend this with the paper stamp. I remove the color I have on the paper stamp first so that it's not too dark, full of dark pigment and then I blend over the gray lines here make them softer that here is not too much contrast in maybe let's also take here a bit of raw amber 180 and swipe very gently over the front parts of the paws very gently i don't want to make them too too brownish or ochre too ochre colored just a very gentle layer to mix in another color here. We could also do this a bit with earth green 172 and bring in a bit of earth green here below near the blanket where we have the shadow area. Maybe also bring in a bit of the flesh color. 100, uh, this is cinnamon, this is too dark. The beige red, where is it? Here, 132, the beige red. Bring that also in here below in this lower uh, shadow paw part, or here. Plot in a thin layer of beige red. Then let's take the black again. 199 darken down this part here between the toes and also here plot in a bit of the black and what I also do is to bring in here black lines between the hairs that then should overlap here in the leg behind so bring in a bit of black here. So also here add some strokes. Maybe I add here a bit shadow below. And also add some lines upwards again here with the black but very little pressure. Okay, then take the paper stamp and blend this. So I blend this gray part and this also here a bit and blend this part here below and also the black that is going here into the paw. Okay and then draw with white hairs over this underpainting. Take white so I sharpen the white and then let's start drawing white hairs on this pole. So here draw some white hairs with a low light hand with a sharp pencil upwards and then leftwards downwards let them here overlap and here downwards. Move the pencil also a bit faster to create fine thin lines yes and here above the hairs are going so upwards they make a curve and are going then here so they are overlapping the black part here above draw fine lines here over our back black background and the leg behind let here these fine hairs overlap, draw them in a bow and here they are going so downwards. You see we have darkened down uh, the base layer with all the different colors and now these white hairs are showing up really really beautifully. So also here in this middle part add the white hairs so downwards let them cross let them here overlap here below they are coming together to clumps and also here we have so single overlapping hairs here 
Here they are also so going downwards. So let them always a bit cross and rotate the pencil. Use all edges of the lead here. Okay, add another layer here above with white. So the more layers you draw the better. Maybe I blend this middle part a bit that we don't have here too much contrast in. It can be a bit softer smoother add another layer with white lines so maybe also more here so downwards here we can also work with the craft knife and stretch in here fine lines Fine details, so downwards here. There's a here above. Stretch in fine lines. Okay, let's take a bit the dark sepia 175 and maybe add here with very little pressure some darker strokes here below between but really with very little pressure I added these little dots here once more very little pressure and scratching some darker lines here or with black you can also do this with black of course 199 again or go here in between these overlapping fine fluffy hairs a bit once more with black also here darken down this part okay so i hope you liked watching this inside video into one of my drawing lessons in an animal art club you can find the whole tutorial in the membership if you're interested, you can join the waitlist in the link below. And if you have any questions, pop them below in the comments. I'm happy to answer. And if you like my YouTube channel, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And finally, if you would like to draw with me together, then join Animal Art Week, my five days drawing week. It's an online drawing experience where I teach you how to draw a beautiful squirrel, a realistic dog eye and a beautiful butterfly. I hope I see you there and I wish you fun with drawing and enjoy your art. See you soon.